Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create these great looking word clouds and add animation and use imagery in the background directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go File, New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, Blank. I'll quickly change the background to black by right clicking, choosing Format Background, going to Solid Fill and making sure that it's set to black. Firstly, we'll add the text and I'll show you how to add two of the text items and then to save time, quickly paste the rest in. So we go to text box, click anywhere, type our first word and make sure it's white. And I'm using Fig Tree Extra Bold for this, which you can download from the link below in the description. I'm going to make this a hundred point size and rotate it. And the quickest way of doing this is to roll over this circular arrow hold down shift and drag to the left and that will rotate in increments so it will be rotated by minus 90 degrees perfectly. I'll now create one more. This is also going to be fig tree extra bold white 88 point. If you're creating multiple ones of these you can either copy and paste the format or right click and choose set as default text box. From now on they would all come out at that size and in that font and color. I'll now quickly paste in the rest of these to save time, then Control A to select them all and Control and the mouse wheel to zoom out slightly. I'm just going to move these into the position I want roughly. That looks good. Now we'll quickly duplicate the slide and I'll show you how you can easily add an image to show through these words. So we'll click on the slide in the slide sorter, press Control D, select them all either by dragging and holding the mouse over or Control A. Then go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes and Union. This will create a single shape from the text, which means it's no longer editable, but we've kept slide one in case we need to go back and change it in the future. So now I can choose any background. I can right click on the background, say Format Background, Picture or Texture Fill, then go to Insert and choose Stock Images. I'll type Sun, pick an image that I think looks good, one with a lot of colour is always quite good because it will show through the words really clearly. Insert. There's our background. Now we need to draw a black rectangle over the whole slide. So we'll go up to Rectangle, click anywhere, change the shape fill to black, the outline to no outline, drag it up to the top left, size it up to the whole screen, right click, centre back. And now all we need to do is click on our text item that is now a single shape and change it from fill, solid fill, to slide background fill. Nice. The great thing about this is we can change the background image now at any time really easily. I'll now just add some quick animation. So I'll click on my slide, Control D to duplicate, go to slide three, transitions, morph, and then on slide two, Control and the mouse wheel to zoom out slightly. Hold down shift and control and drag from the corner to make this big. Then go to slide three and give it a duration of one second on the transition to make it nice and smooth. Now we can play from slide two and it will zoom out nicely into our word cloud. We can add a bit more zoom if we want. I would like a bit more on this. So I'll go to the corner again, hold down control shift to make it even bigger. This is just personal preference, whatever you think looks good. I think that's a good starting place and then it will zoom out nicely into the full word cloud. That looks great and as a bonus I'll show you how you can very quickly change the image in this. So if we click on slide 2 in the slide sorter, hold down shift so I've selected both 2 and 3, Control D to duplicate and then on slide 4 we're going to change the background. So I can go to insert picture source, stock images, type what I want, choose my image, and then we need to do the same for slide five. We'll just choose the same image. I'll put morph on this slide as well, just to make it move through smoothly. And again, select one second. So all of them are on a duration of one second. We'll now play from slide two. And we can start from our zoomed in on picture one, zoom out to our full word cloud, zoom back into picture two and zoom out again. So there's a really nice way of creating a word cloud 
quickly and easily and being able to show through images and add animation. If you'd like to download the source files for any of my recent tutorials, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. If you'd like the video, please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.